Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the replacement door switch for Lippert Electric Coach Steps, part number LC301694. Now, whether your switch is starting to go out or it completely broke, our door switch is gonna allow our stairs to come out and retract when we close the door automatically, then we won't have to worry about tripping or stepping up too far when we're getting in or out of our RV. One side of our switch is gonna mount right here against the door, and then the other side, we mounted ours right at the bottom of our screen door. That way, whenever the screen door closes, the two sensors will meet, and it'll cause the stairs to retract. Now our switch is gonna replace the door switch that came standard on the single, double, or triple electric Lippert coach steps or your Stromberg Carlson sliding steps. So if you're tired of the stairs not extending out or not retracting back in when you close or open the door, our door switch is gonna be a great solution to get your motorized stairs working again. To begin our installation, we're gonna to have to make sure that our steps are working properly and that the problem is our switch. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and switch the steps on. And as you can see, the steps do come out. So we can go ahead and close the door. And we can see that they're not retracting. So we can tell that the motor is working perfectly fine, but the sensor or the switch right here on the door is not. The first step in our installation is gonna be removing the old switch. Now the one that's attached to the inside of the door frame here, this one was broken off. The wires are still attached, but the glue had let go a long time ago. So to make it a little bit easier on myself, I'm gonna cut my wires right here. Now if we follow the wires down, it'll lead to the floor, and they're gonna come out right here. So I can go ahead and pull my wires out. Now one of them's gonna be attached to the frame here with a self-tapping screw for a ground, and the other one's gonna be connected into our harness that connects to the motor for our steps. So we can take our new switch, we're gonna find the end of the wires, and we're gonna feed them down through the same hole that we got the other ones out. And once the wires come through, we're gonna pull the excess out and get about how much we need for our switch. Now where my old wire went into my connector here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that wire back just right behind the connector and I'm gonna strip it back. Now on the end of the wire, I'm gonna take a heat shrink buck connector, since it is staying on the outside of the vehicle at all times, and I'm gonna crimp it into place. Now if you need some of these, you can pick some up on our website. And these are just gonna help from corrosion building up and moisture getting inside the connector. So now we're gonna take the longer of the two wires from our switch, I'm gonna bring it towards the buck connector and I'm gonna insert it into the end and crimp it in place. Now as far as the original ground goes, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that bolt and pull my wire out and start fresh. So I'm gonna take a ring terminal. It's not in the kit, but you can pick some up on our website, a couple different sizes that we carry. I'm gonna take my wire and I'm actually gonna fold it a couple times to make it a little bit thicker so I can crimp on my ring terminal. I'm gonna take a self-tapping screw, and again, these aren't provided in the kit, but I'm gonna attach it to the inside of the frame right here. We can go ahead and mount half our switch now. Now, there's two different ways that we can mount it. On the back, we have some double-sided tape. And just peel the backing off, and we can apply it directly to whatever surface we want, and we also have two spots where we can put a couple screws into place. Well, I'm gonna take mine, and I'm just gonna use the double-sided tape for now. I'm gonna put it right against the door here, so that when the other door closes, the other magnet will be right here next to it. Now, the other half of our sensor is gonna be going on our screen door in our application, and it's gonna mount the same way. We're gonna have some double-sided tape on the back. We're just gonna adhere it to the bottom of the door, so that when I close it, it'll line up with the other magnet. Now they do provide us with some screws in our kit, but they are just a tad bit longer than the ones we took out. So I'm gonna be replacing the screws with the same ones that I took out. Now, as I mentioned before, 
the connector I was using is a heat shrink connector and I'm going to be using a heat gun to shrink it down. Now where that hole we had where it came out to the floor in the entryway there, I'm going to take a little bit of silicone, I'm going to fill it up. We don't have to worry about any moisture building up or water leaking in there. With all the connections made and everything tidied up, we can go ahead and test out our steps. So we can close the door and see that they go back up. And if we open the door, they're going to extend out. So it looks like that switch went ahead and fixed the problem. And that'll finish up our look at the replacement door switch for Lippert Electric Coach Steps, part number LC301694.